So this is going to be a slightly, slightly different unboxing video of sorts. Uh, I decided to bring with me my Viper Bureaus 1 and 2 uh, as my only knives uh, out kayaking today. Um, so uh, this will be the, you know, the unboxing area of sorts. I uh, did bring some camera stuff with me, etc. And I did actually bring the boxes because I haven't done any first, you know, unboxing of these. Um, this is the Beerus 2 carbon fiber and this is the... Well, it doesn't actually say anything on this one, but I know for a fact this is the Beerus 1. So they are actually, you know, brand new in their boxes. So I, yeah, I threw the boxes down in a dry bag and said, you know, if I'm gonna take some nice photos as well and, you know, doing some stuff with them, I, I want to make an unboxing video first, so... Well, then we'll just do the unboxing... ...out here. But first I might actually go for, um... ...for a bit of a swim, to be honest, because I'm quite... ...warm. The sun... ...may not be shining too bright right now, but, uh... It's still quite, quite hot outside, so uh, I'm gonna go for a quick swim, then I'm gonna dry up a bit, and then we will start uh, the actual unboxing, going through these little knives, you know, all the specs, the details, etc. Maybe putting them to some work as well, so uh, yeah, that's where we are now. Excellent timing, the sun is back for a second, so I am heading into the water. See you in a bit. So I'm back again here, uh, a bit colder now, although it was quite warm in the water as well. But I quickly, you know, realized that this is probably not the best setting to do a, a unboxing video at. I mean, uh, it's, it's kind of difficult to go into the island here because it's overgrown with, uh, you know, with trees and stuff like that. So it's, uh, I have to sit here on the beach uh, for now uh, with the waves going on in the background. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna use these knives and I'm gonna take photos of them and I want an unboxing. So uh, the beach is where the unboxing will be. Uh, so we have the, the Beerus 1 in carbon fiber here. It's no sticker on it, like on this one, uh, which is the Beerus 2. Let's see, there we go, perhaps. And I think we're gonna start with, uh, with the 1. I like to go with things in, you know, chronologi chronological order of sorts. So uh, this is the box it comes with. Maybe you can see it, maybe you cannot. It's, you know... The sun is uh, messing a bit with us here. So, uh, yeah, Viper made in Maniago, Italy. So by now I have quite a lot of knives made in, uh, in Maniago. Uh, all of them are, you know, nice, great knives, sharp knives too. So let's, uh, let's open this first box up, shall we? And uh, well, here we have a tiny, or not a tiny, but you see a small uh, kydex sheath with a uh, oh, a bit of a different. Ah, so this is the ulti clip. Uh, I've heard a lot about that uh, specific uh, clip design. Never really, you know, worked with it, but uh, it is supposed to be a pretty, pretty clever, you know. Uh, uh, solution to uh, to use on different Kydex systems. Um, so Kydex sheath, small. Uh, well, it's a small sheath because the knife itself is also kind of small. Let's see here. We have some uh, paperwork, and there seems to be a knife in here as well. Uh, the paperwork is just some uh, yeah, some boring stuff. Probably some uh, warranty info and makers info and. Uh, Congratulations on owning a Viper knife. Uh, this knife is recognized by the Maniago quality system, which represents a warrant of its origin, manufacturing process and safety. Well, that does sound good. Uh, let's put the papers down and uh, unbox this little thing here. 
There we go. So let's take a closer look, shall we, at this one. Look at that nice carbon fiber. That's really, really, really nice looking. If it transfers to the camera. If not, you'll just have to take my uh, word for it. Man, oh man, this feels great. You know, I had, I, I, I was surprised when I found this knife over at Lamnia, the both the one and the two, and I, I couldn't really understand how I missed out because I really, you know, I'm really getting into smaller knives, and this one, this one easily ticked all the boxes off for me. So let's take a quick look at the specs here, and then we can go into the, the other details. So starting off here, carbon fiber scales, well that's a given. The steel might not be a given, but it is M390. My favorite knife steel uh, for small knives, for folders, even for uh, you know medium-sized fixed blades as well. Uh, blade hardness, uh, 59 to 61, Rockwell. Uh, weight of the knife, that's also kind of interesting, right? This one weighs uh, 95 grams. It's not super light, you know. 95 grams is, is still, you know, 95 grams. Almost 100 grams. Uh, the overall length of this little beast is 154 millimeters with a blade length of 67 millimeters, I believe. Uh, the blade thickness, and this is why it is as heavy as it is. The blade thickness here is four millimeters. So you quickly realize that this is, you know, quite a, a compact, stout little knife. Uh, Count of origin is, of course, Italy, since it was made in, in Maniago, uh, which we already went over. Uh, as you can see, uh, I wear size 10. Uh, in gloves, I have fairly large hands. This is, you know, you have this finger grow here. Could be a deal breaker for some people. I always feel like I'm taking a risk when I buy a knife with finger grows or a choil, if the choil is on the small side. But the finger grow is, you know, that is the most risky part in my opinion. But here, look at this. Excellent, excellent for my specific hands. Might not be perfect for your hands, but for, to me it is perfect. I will say though that these areas here aren't really, you know, super sharp and it's you know, nicely, nicely contoured or, you know, semi-rounded. So it's not, you know, protruding or it's not feeling wrong. Even if I, even if I um, uh, uh, put my hands like this just because, it still doesn't feel, you know, bad. Even if I place my fingers wrong, in a sense here, it still doesn't feel bad. So that is something to, to keep in mind that you know, even if it doesn't fit your hand perfectly, it might still not be you know an issue uh, to have a hold in your hand. I would say that uh, you know due to the choil area here, it is a, a full four finger, but it is yeah it is on the on the very verge or edge there. But as you can see, this back part here is nicely rounded, polished. So not, it's not, you know, any corners or anything cutting into your hand. This is really, really smoothly rounded. Uh, makes for, yeah, terrific ergos, I'd say. I'm gonna have to make a comparison video with these two and the uh, MKM my, uh, Micro 1 and 2. Uh, so far I prefer this one, I think. It's, you know, I mean, it is a larger knife, but it, it's, yeah, it feels great in my hand. So let's look at some other details and what's going on here. We have talked about the finger groove, the finger choil, the rounded uh, back part here of the knife, uh, the thick spine, and as you can see here, we have some, let's see, some jimping, some pretty, Pretty good jimping, you know. You get a firm gripper; it, it really locks your thumb in, uh, and it, it is a, a great placement of the jimping for my hands. Once again, Let's see exactly, exactly where I want it to be—not too far away, not too close in to get cramped, but a, a perfect spot. The jimping here. Um, yeah, I like, I like this one. I, I mean, I, I knew I was going to like it when I 
when I ordered it. Otherwise, well, I probably wouldn't have made the order to begin with. But I felt like, you know, this is definitely up my alley. And uh, yeah, this is just a receipt that I was, I was right. Super, super sweet, nice little knife. And also, I mean, it's, it's good for holding, you know, doing, you know, small cutting tacks like this as well. You know, you've got a wide, I mean, the blade is pretty wide, as you can see. So if you want to put the blade like this in your hand, to do certain tasks, etc., you have a lot of, a lot of space uh, to place both your finger on the back part here and your thumb there on the on the top part. I'm not sure how well this can be seen. I'm twisting my hand pretty good now, but to me this feels like a great small versatile utility knife to use for you know pretty much anything you'd want to use a knife in this size for. And the Argos, man, the Argos. Oh man. This is some good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Great knife to bring kayaking as well with the Kydex Freeth and you know the, the M390 etc. Uh, can easily get wet, no problem whatsoever. I think I might have to get one or two extra of this one. That is how much I like this one. And I think I'm gonna like the one more than the two, but we can talk about that more when we when we look into the two. But but for now, let's try the Let's go for some, some really close-up shots there as well, before we try the Kydex sheath as well. Once again. Yeah, so let's, let's try the Kydex sheath there, shall we? See how it, um, if it works or how it works. How do they want to use, is it, oh yeah, okay. So, uh, but is it supposed to be on both? I can see that, you know, if you look at the Kydex street there, like it's supposed to go both ways almost. Not so sure about it. Oh wait, no. That would have been interesting, but you can see here with the with this design here, and it is supposed to go like this. But for a second, I thought that you could actually go. Uh, uh, no, I mean like this. Uh, go both ways. It is. Uh, it is a bit of rattling, but it does seem to be secure still. So. Um, Yeah. A bit of rattling, but still secure. And the uh, utility or ulti clip, perhaps? Ulti clip? Yeah, that's what it's called. I have no experience with this one before, but it's going to be interesting to see how it uh, holds up. So, um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, Beerus Viper. Uh, two now instead. So let's take a look here at uh, Viper Beerus 2, um, which comes with pretty much the well the exact same packaging, the Kydex ship sheath with the ulti clip here, um, made in Italy as well for uh, well for whatever. That's worth. And then we have the actual knife itself and the same type of paperwork as with the, with the Beerus 1. So let's uh, take a look at this one and it has got quite a different uh, uh, profile to it than uh, the Viper 1. The Viper 1 being a more you know, classic knife design. This one having this type of uh, Warncliffe uh, uh, blade design here. 
Uh, but other than that, you know, it shares the same uh, same handle design, same handle features, same, you know, it is the exact same handle. They were all probably made from the exact same, you know, uh, knife blanket uh, to, to begin with, just, you know, cut differently in terms of uh, uh, the actual grinder and blade design. So all the Argos, everything like that is the same. Uh, the jimping as well, you know, the placement of the jimping, it all, you know, just works works quite nicely. Uh, I think the choil... Is the choil different, perhaps? But I'm not sure, but it feels feels really good in hand. Give me a second, I need to, need to check something out here. Let's see, you know, I think that... Uh, they are kind of uh, kind of identical, uh, sort of, you know, just a different, just a different blade, um, the different blade designs. Uh, that is what differs. Uh, I think there could actually be some differences in uh, in the specs, perhaps. Uh, they are bo both specified to weigh 65 grams. Uh, I think that this one weighs slightly more. And it would be kind of logical if it did, uh, due to the spine thickness on the side. But I'm gonna have to put more scales when I get back home. I did not bring any scales with me out kayaking. Uh, the overall length of this one is also 154 millimeters. Uh, the blade length, however, here is specified to 62 millimeters instead of, I think that the Viper one is uh, 67 millimeters. So a five millimeter difference between uh, the two. Blade thickness is, of course, the very same four millimeters. So this is, I mean, whether you go one or two, that is just gonna be you know, pure personal preferences, or maybe you go both. Uh, me personally, I prefer the, the Viper 1, the more classic design. But you know, a worn cliff here and there can be nice, and maybe I can get more into that type of, of blade, uh, blade shape. But uh, I, I got this one because I wanted to have like a matching pair, I thought it would be nice, and well, you know, the Viper 1 is the knife that's gonna tag along with me uh, most of the time. But you know, variation is never a bad thing, right? So let's take some some closer looks here at this uh, at this one. Feels almost like a small cleaver of sorts. Yeah. And the ergos are are absolutely amazing. Fantastic ergonomics. I mean, if you like what you see here, if you like the specs, I would not hesitate. Not for a second. I mean, this one, this one is easy to recommend. But my recommendations right now for both the Viper One and Viper Two is, you know, on mere ergos and you know the science, etc. We have yet to put them to any type of use. But if I know the the knife makers in Maniago, these two knives are going to be quite sharp, and they're going to work well for. Uh, many different types of cutting tasks, like, I mean, if you want to sit and cut paper and slice paper, sure, if you want to do food prep, slice fruits, vegetables, meat, etc., that I'm sure it will work well. If you want to work in the, in the woods, if you want to make feather sticks or, you know, wood carving, I'm sure they will perform quite well for that as well. Uh, but that is something we have yet to, to try out. And, and right now, I'm not sure if this is a an overview video or an unboxing video or an actual review, etc. We will see what what this video ends up being. But uh, uh, you will, if this if this is just just an unboxing video or first look, then you can be sure that there will be a full review video in the very near future because these knives have to be be put to use now. 
Holy hell. I'm gonna try to adjust the camera a bit here and, and do some uh, close-up comparison uh, shots here with the, with the one. So give me give me a few seconds here to, to fix that. We can also uh, uh, try the, the Kydex sheath for this one. Let's see. Ah, oh, there is no uh, no rattling going on here. Firmly secure, or maybe. Okay, a tiny, tiny, the tiniest amount of rattling. Not too bad. It seems to be uh, seems to be pretty secure to me. Yeah, let's do the comparison now. So um, I decided to uh, put my camera back to, to good use here, uh, so we can actually get these knives uh, sort of side by side. Uh, but as you can see, I mean it, it is it is quite obvious the the differences of these two um, of these two uh, models. Uh, I mean it, the the design differences speaks for. It kind of speaks for themselves. So I mean, if you know you're a fan of of a Warncliffe, that is, you know, then you're gonna go with the Viper II. Uh, if you prefer, you know, the more uh, classic look of the Viper One, well, then perhaps you should actually go with uh, with the Viper One. Uh, both will, of course, both will, of course, work. Both will cut stuff up. But you know, personal preferences. Well, that is. That is a thing, you know, so uh, I'm happy I got both, but if I'm gonna get one extra or two, which I actually <laughs> am going to do, I personally am gonna go with a Viper 1, get one or two more, probably in some other uh, handle materials, just to get some variation going. Would be nice if they were offered in like uh, Blaze Orange G10 or something, so you can easily see it, uh, should you drop it. But these two knives are wow! I know I I knew I was going to like them, but I didn't know I was going to like them this much. So uh, yeah, I am thoroughly impressed. Very very much impressed. I thought I'd record this for for those of you who are unfamiliar with this uh, ulti clip here. Uh, it works the way that, you know, I only have one hand now, but you open this up like that, which relieves pressure on this one. So now you can squeeze this onto something and then you press down here and you secure it. So that is the way this, uh, this locking system of sorts uh, works. Thought I'd include it as well in the video. So it might be, you know, some people might like it, others might not. Uh, I think it's, you know, I've, I've never used this system before, but it, it seems uh, seems pretty decent. Uh, I'm not, you know, 100% sold, but uh, it will get the job done, so. And it might also be like, you know, I need some time to actually uh, start uh, uh, start to appreciate it. Yeah. So, using the utility clip, I have secured it now uh, to my uh, life vest there. So, um, that is... Uh, Actually, kind of uh, kind of neat. Have it really close by. I think this is going to see a lot of time out on the seas uh, this summer and. Uh, Actually, a lot of summers, upcoming summers. 
Hey, it's nice. The Viper Beerus one. Some uh, close up bonus footage here in hand. The Viper Beerus 2. Some uh, close up looks here. Bit of a bonus footage of sorts. So I ventured to the other side of this small island and uh, Got some, uh, what I believe is slightly better light conditions to show off the knives. So uh, this is just some uh, some bonus footage of sorts. Uh, I really like this little thing. I like it a lot. Some uh, additional bonus footage. The Viper Beerus 2. Uh, quite nice little knife. out.